You're listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters. Welcome back to the rock show. My name, as always, is Ben Fuller. And this week, I'm going to take you on another magical mystery tour of uh, music that uh, I don't know anything about. Because I've got the first disc from the Rock of Ages CD. Yes, I have. I have skipped the first track because I refuse to play anything by Europe. Uh, but I don't really know any of the others. I did listen to this, but that was a couple of weeks back now. Uh, so this is Gotthard, and I'm alive. Gotthard, they're a Swiss hard rock band founded in uh, Lugano by Steve Lee and Leo Leone and their last 11 albums have reached number one in the Swiss album charts making them one of the most successful Swiss acts ever with 2 million albums sold and they've managed to get multi-platinum awards in different parts of the world the band takes its name from the St. Gotthard Massif I'm just going to take a look at the uh, discography um, they seem to have been around since the early 90s. Their first album, Got Up, was released in 1992. Uh, that track, I'm Alive, came from the 2005 album, Lip Service. And I've got to tell you, I rather like that. I might get my music mole to dig some up for me. Another unknown, but this is going to be a recurring theme. I don't know who any of these people are. So, uh, Chakra and Chains of Temptation. Seeking to find liberation 
There you go, another great sound, Chakra there. Uh, they've been around since 1997, they're another Swiss hard rock band, and that particular track comes from the album Full from uh, 2005. They are still around, their latest album uh, released in 2017 is called Snakes and Ladders, and that's another one I think I might have to find out more about. Next on today's list is Axel Rudy Pell, and Strong as a Rock. Life lost life. 
tracks all Rudy Pearl is a German heavy metal guitar player and that was his eponymous band uh, he started off with a band um, Steeler in 1984 through to 88 before leaving to start his solo career in 1989 that particular track was from 2004 and the album Kings and Queens and he's played with a lot of names uh, they may not be familiar to you uh, Drummers such as uh, York Michael and um, Mike Tarana, and singers Johnny Gioli, uh, Jeff Scott Scoto, and Bob Rock. And Bob Rock is next with a track called Calling Angels.
Now, Metallica fans will be very uh, familiar with Bob Rock. He's worked with them a fair bit. He's a Canadian musician, sound engineer, record producer, and uh, he's best known for producing rock bands uh, like the Tragically Hip, Aerosmith, The Cult, Bon Jovi, Motley Crue, 311, Metallica, of course, Our Lady Peace, Brian Adams, The Offspring, Black Veil Brides, David Lee Roth, Ron Sexsmith, and a rather dubious uh, dalliance with Michael Bublé, but we won't ever mention that name on this show again. I'm going to go back to the music while I go and wash my mouth out. This is Gypsy Rose. I love a bit of 80s hard rock every now and again. Uh, formed in 1988, Gypsy Rose are a Canadian hard rock band. And that track was called Queen of the Night. I can't find you anything about the album it came from or um, 
any other information other than you can find a video for it on YouTube, but it's a late uh, upload, that one, not since 2011. And this particular compilation was put together in 2005, so I couldn't tell you. It's got to be earlier than that, but it sounds like a wonderful 80s hard rock band. Uh, I don't know who's next. Let's have a look. Dark Sky. This is another band. I don't know who they are. And this is Living and Dying. From the album of the same name from 2005, that is the German heavy metal band Dark Sky. Uh, they've been around since 1982. Uh, they've toured with bands like Thunder and Magnum. And uh, the translation from German's a little wonky, so I'm not going to go too deep into that. But it's a very German uh, rock sound, if you like your German rock Dark Sky are definitely for you. I did quite like that one. I'm not so sure if I'm going to like this next one. It sounds a bit like um, one of those dreary 80s or 90s boy bands. The band's called Boy's Voice. And this is Open Your Eyes. Let's give it a try. <laughs> i 
Now, did I say they sounded like a hideous uh, 90s boy band? Well, Boy's Voice was a fictional Norwegian boy band. Uh, best known from the movie Get Ready to Be Boy Zone from 2000. Uh, they really were set up to make fun of boy band music. And somehow they managed to get into the charts. Uh, I'm not going to read out most of their story because there's an awful lot of scandal and some nonsense in there that uh, I don't actually want to be associated with. But they're on Wikipedia, if you want to read it for yourself. It is quite an interesting story, nonetheless. But I don't want this show associated with it. So I promise you never to play Boy's Voice ever again. We'll try the next one on the list, though. Uh, Heartland and Hard-Hearted Man. Oh, before I do that, I ought to tell you, you're listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters. And this is The Rock Show. And my name's Ben Fuller. And this is the first disc from the Rock of Ages CD that I left at home last time I tried to do this. Um... Now I've got that out of the way, this is Heartland. Yeah. 
much more like it. Trouble is, I can't tell you a thing about them. I just cannot find anything. I don't know the album that was from. I don't even know if it was a successful single. But I did like it. Next is a band called Silver. And um, I don't know if this is a cover or not, but this is called Creep. Your face is a mess And your body is 
I burst into tears I can't breathe when you're near I can't stand this person who is hiding in here Take all your crack No one would ever try to hold you back Where you go, where you're from When you go back home alone Your face is a mess And your body is weak And I couldn't care less Oh babe, you're a creep You're out of steelies When you're diving too deep All dignity dies You are a creep Well, that turned out to be a decent track. Unfortunately, I can't find anything out about this band other than the fact that that came from their fifth album called Gold from 2004. Every time I try and find some information, all I get is Silver were an American 1970s country rock band, and that's definitely not what I've just heard. I will try and do some more research, and if I find anything else out, I'll tell you about it later. Uh, I'm just going to carry on. This is Marty Peters' group and Riot on the Fifth Floor.
MPG, as they're abbreviated to. And I can tell you they're German. And I can tell you that they're coming back with a new album. It'll be album number three. But that's it, I'm afraid. Uh, they're from Copenhagen, I think. Actually, not Germany. Yes, they are. Marty Peters, at least, is from Copenhagen. And uh, they are coming back with another album. Well, if you like that sort of thing, I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Next for my all-unknown list, at least mostly, a band called Evidence One and written in blood. Now that I like, and they are a German melodic heavy metal band, uh, formed in 2001 in uh, Baden-Württemberg. Um, one of the original members, Bobby Babel, uh, retired from playing in 2006 but continues to compose, uh, originally intended to continue playing on the albums, but his role went to his live replacement, uh, Jörg Wortmann. Uh, they've got three albums out. I don't know which one that comes from. I think it was Tattooed Heart from 2004. 
But the last one was 2007. And at the moment, their uh, status is on hold, although I do believe there is some new stuff on the way. It's uh, a bit sad, but they lost a lot of their uh, new stuff after a catastrophic computer failure. Um, and they lost nearly all their new material, so they've had to restart from scratch. But I like them. It's a good sound. It really is a good sound. Russell Allen's Atomic Soul next, and Seasons of Insanity. Another great track. Russell Allen is Symphony X's lead singer, and that was his debut solo album, Atomic Soul, released in April uh, 2005. 
Uh, it's different from Symphony X. Um, they're harder and more progressive. Uh, it's been dubbed by many, including Alan himself, as hard rock. And it features a lot of guest musicians. Uh, Alan himself uh, played bass and um, something else. I've lost the track. Keyboards on most tracks, along with the vocals. But he had uh, um, Robert Nelson on drums, Brendan Anthony and Jason Freiberg on guitars, Larry Salvatore on bass, Jens Johansson on keyboards. Also, Alan's bandmates Michael Romeo and uh, Michael Pinella from Symphony X also featured on the album. So it's a real all-star album, really. I think I'd like to hear the rest of it. Then that's it. I'm out of time, I'm afraid. This has been The Rock Show, and this has been part two of uh, Rock of Ages. You've been listening to Radio Lewis, where the music matters. I hope you've enjoyed this magical mystery tour of unknown stuff. I won't be doing this again. Next week it's uh, back to business as usual. I've got some lovely new stuff from uh, Hailstorm, something I've just heard from Nickelback, and uh, maybe something new from Good Charlotte as well. Until next time, I'm going to leave you with Clark, and I don't need you. I do need you, though. I want you to come back and listen every week. Until next time, bye-bye. Lonely.